you all are aware, we've held a series of uh, consultations on the new national minimum wage, starting from the inauguration of the Tripartite Committee in uh, November 2017 by Mr. President. This committee was to 
look at uh, all the issues surrounding the fixing of a new minimum wage. They made uh, use of laws, the Nigerian constitution, ILO conventions on minimum wage fixing, and uh, uh, specialist bodies like uh, the Bureau of Statistics, uh, uh, NISA, and all other bodies that have to do with some economic uh, research. The Federal Executive Council received the report after it has gone through the mills and uh, at, the, at that level treated it. The National Economic Council, comprising the governors and uh, uh, the, president, the vice president chairing, also looked at the, the report. And then finally today, the Council of State. So the Council, these three organs have permitted Mr. President now to transmit to the National Assembly a new minimum wage bill. This is in consonance with the fact that uh, the issue of uh, national minimum wage prescription, that's prescribing a new national minimum wage, is in the exclusive list. Uh, second schedule, item 34. And uh, being on that list, it is not a job that can be done by the executive alone. The president has to transmit a bill and the National Assembly will take legislative action and return the bill that has been so treated to the president for his assent. So a bill will not grow, and the bill that will amend the 1981 Act and 2011 Act, the highlights is what you want to know. The figure of 27,000 monthly has been approved for transmission to the National Assembly. Frequency of review of the bill is five years to get it in consonance with the pension, uh, the pension law of the Federation as enshrined in the Nigerian Constitution. Exemptions to this bill or this act will be establishments that are not employing people up to 25 in number. The various fines prescribed have also been altered in the bill and will be sent to the National Assembly before the close of work tomorrow. Thank you. Questions? Yes, Tony. It is basically about our preparations for the general election, the logistics arrangement, recruitment of ad hoc staff, uh, the delivery of materials for the election, and we have fully, and I'm convinced satisfactorily, briefed council of the readiness of the commission to conduct elections on Saturday the 16th of February and Saturday the 2nd of March 2019. Yes, and we have had opposition's complain that INEC appears are partly compromised or is being compromised by the government in power. Can you clarify if this is true or not? We don't join issues when partisans make comments. We don't. And this is to be expected on the eve of major elections. It's not peculiar to this commission. It has happened to other commissions um, before now. We shall focus on the goal of delivering free, fair, and credible elections in 2019. And I want to assure Nigerians that there will be a pleasant voting experience in 2019 and that their votes will count. Thank you very much. Thank you. Without being specific, made a point. And that point is what I want all of us, not only in this hall, the whole of Nigeria to know that the substance of election is not by INEC alone. Election will only be successful by a participation of everybody. And that whatever it may be, we must take politics as out of this exercise and that all of us owe a duty as leaders of our people, at least to be sure that we, we have confidence in the electoral body and at the end of the day, assist the electoral body to succeed. 
And I think the message was made clear to everybody. And I believe that uh, all of us in the hall have heard that, look, whatever it is, we have not listened to the chairman of the INEC, and we are convinced that they are prepared for the election. I'm not sure anybody else will come out to talk about INEC any longer. So the point has been made. All of us have now have our hands on deck to ensure the success. Because without our participation, without our cooperation, INEC itself cannot be successful. Okay, final one so that press. Uh, Happy New Year. Now, we, the council was briefed by the ANEC chairman, and the briefing, as accepted by everybody, was very lucid. It was clear. It was all encompassing. The ANEC chairman took the council through all the processes that are going to be followed at the national election and the state elections. The general elections, as you know, uh, when it's going to come by. I hope you're on. Okay. March 2. Yeah, no, it was taken there by the light. Now, in his briefing, it was, he informed the council of the preparedness of INEC. And everybody in the hall was convinced that INEC was ready for this election. And the, a lot of things have been put in place, and I think... Uh, we all concluded that it's important for the chairman to even speak to the nation on the preparedness of INEC for this election. That will convince all of us that this forthcoming election is going to be free and fair, and that the way we see it. Look at it. They have improved card reader, the details of what has been done to improve it was made known. It was made known that, look, the process of continuous voting, accreditation and voting system cards, was the best. So that when you are accredited, you vote at the same time and you leave. He also informed the council on all the necessary, uh, what do you call, uh, in, um, what, um, um, what do you call these things now? Uh, the, uh, uh, at, at times they use uh, the word ballot boxes, everything to be used. And uh, change in the ballot boxes, he also informed us that rather than using collapse, collapsible ballot boxes, they are going to use frame ballot boxes, transparent ones, because we have lost so many. And a lot have been purchased. He also told the council that they are not lacking in terms of finance and that all the money appropriated had been given to them and they are ready for the election. Uh, he went further to inform the council that, look, all training and retraining of every step, category of uh, staff that they will use, they are already going to, they are already started and they are having consultation with every group of people, religious, uh, artisans and trade unions and co, to let them know. And he had informed us that, look, there is no way they are going to go out of the category of style of people they use for election. When it comes to issue of the university, uh, vice chancellors, university students at times, and NYC. And there is no way they will go outside those categories of people they use for election. So everybody was convinced that, look, INEC, as of today, is ready for the elections. And uh, uh, questions were put, he was interrogated, and he responded and gave adequate explanation to the satisfaction of all of us that, look, they were ready for the election. Thank you, Excellency.